I feel like I'm making things worse. I'm pretty worried how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Hi guys, it's Rie. So I started watching Great British Baking Show. This season's first episode, they had this outrageous challenge. They had to make 3D cake of one of their heroes. It was a very funny episode, but if you are a competitor, I think this is a very difficult challenge. I want to do the same challenge with the same rules. It must have a head. It has to be made out of cake. You have to complete cakes within four hours. Today I'm going to make 3D cake of my friend, Nikki. <laughs> really? You told me it was Anna. It's you. I'm yes. gonna make I just wanna surprise you. <laughs> Making your cake. I'm going to start baking Nikki's head and body. Making cake batter is not difficult, but it has to be in the oven about 45 minutes. But I want to take more time for carving and decorating the cake, so I want to move fast. I put foils in a stand mixer and I'm going to just like whisk. So what you're looking for is kind of pale yellow color. When you use baking soda, you want to use some acidity. So buttermilk does the job. So I'm baking olive oil cake because it's less crumbly like butter based cake. So I thought it would be great cake to stack everything up together. I want to make sure to use nice good quality olive oil because I'm using three cup, it's a lot. While stand mixer is mixing my butter i'm going to line my cake pan and i'm thinking what can i make like round shape i'm going to bake cake butter in a bowl and once it's baked i'm going to put two together hope this works i don't know how much I should add, I wanna make sure it's even way. So most recent season, like I enjoy a lot, but they did Japanese week. And I must mention that it wasn't great. So if they are looking for a Japanese consultant, just call me, I'd be there. I add almost even amount of cake butter in a eight inch cake pan and a two metal bowl and top to remove the air bubble. I'm going to bake this cake about 35 minutes to 45 minutes and first part is done. I'm going to spread jam in between the cake and I'm making raspberry jam for the filling. And I want to make sure this cake is delicious as well. In the show, judge is always tasting the cake. And if it doesn't taste good, you could go home. And usually I macerated for 30 minutes. I don't want to run out of the time, so I'm going to just skip that. Do you remember when we watched the episode? I asked you, what would you make as a 3D cake? Who is your hero? Do you remember who you said? I said SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> SpongeBob is not real. <laughs> I'm basically making four different components and you have to use time right. You have to be very smart about it. Making jump takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to cook this on the side and move on to my next step. I'm going to make Swiss meringue buttercream. And <laughs> that is Nikki's favorite thing. I like rose flavor a lot, but in the show, it's kind of tricky ingredients. If it's too much, the judge doesn't like it, but it's too little, they also don't like it. So Swiss meringue, you are making meringue warmed up in a hot water bath, and you want to melt sugar completely. It's nice, there is no judge. I'm like less pressured right now. So temperature is good and it's kind of look flossy and whisk egg whites until stiff peak. While I'm waiting meringue is whipping, I'm going to cut my butter. Okay, I think the meringue is good, nice stiff peak. I'm going to add butter and my buttercream is done. I'm gonna taste it, it looks so good. So my buttercream is delicious. I think my all components ready. I have less than 90 minutes left and 
I've made buttercream before, cake before, jam before. So next actual challenge begins. Time to assemble. So I want it to make it a little bit rounder, but it's a little bit flat. But you know, I think it, we can make it happen. So I don't need to cut this cake because it's pretty flat, but um, I want to use cake crumb. So Nikki have round head, I like using ice cream scooper. I'm gonna create kind of tube. Jam is nice and gelatinous. This part is going to be Nikki's body. <laughs> kind of have a like blood. <laughs> So I was going to use this cake stand because this is what the, some of the contestants used, but I'm gonna not use it. So I'm going to put, so it doesn't move. And I'm going to put the round top. So it's gonna be Nikki's shoulder. This is not gonna be presented like this. I'm going to use fondant. So it doesn't need to be too pretty. Oh, I made a bunny cake. There's a scary bunny. You go to the mall and take a picture. I didn't understand the concept, so I made a three-eye bunny. <laughs> All right, I think this looks good. Now it's a head time. It's kind of look like BB-8. The same thing. I think I should have cut this part straight, but it's too late now. Or is it too late? It's not too late. It's like free freestyle. There's a lot of moments like this on the show. <laughs> I wanted to make this straight and put it here, so I thought it wasn't too late, but my bottom of the cake is peeled off. But it's okay. Nikki, you are laughing, but do you think you can make this? No, of course you can't make this. <laughs> it's actually worked. You have neck now. Yeah. Nikki's neck is a little bit ugly. You have to stack layer of cakes, so it's easy to slide down. So I'm using stick. One of my favorite part about that episode, someone's head <laughs> fall off and they have to use like neck pillow. <laughs> and I hope it doesn't happen to me. And this is Nikki's, yeah, like face, brain. Okay, so I'm going to stick this. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fill the gap. A little bit tilted, isn't it? Right now, Nikki has flat head. I'm going to crumble this cake with frosting like a cake pop. At this point, I'm just like winging it because I still have to make a fondant and paint her face and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to make it like a cone head. I feel like it's a little bit pointy head now, but it's okay. I was very confident about baking cake part. I'm gonna just do my best. Well, the good thing is like, I have nobody to compete with. <laughs> and I'm going home anyways. <laughs> Look at this. That's a hat. Exactly. Okay, so this is gonna be Nikki's face. Painter always do this. I don't know what they're doing, but. <laughs> Annie draw Nikki from Eating Your Feed crepe cake episode. So I'm going to use this as a reference. A lot of competitors was making realistic version of their hero. But if I make animated version, I think I can execute it better. I'm going to start covering this cake with fondant. I only worked with fondant one time, so I'm pretty worried how it's gonna turn out. Wow, I don't like the smell at all. <laughs> oh my God. Nikki is wearing brown shirt. I'm going to try to make brown color. I had no idea what food gel color combination become brown and pink. It is becoming very stressful. It just doesn't look like any color. It's like dirty Play-Doh. I wanted to make Nikki's shirt, but it kind of looked like Nikki's skin tone. So I'm gonna <laughs> just use this as a, her face. Ah, it's like cleaning, chewing gum from like back of the chair or something. 
kind of creepy too. I thought it's going to be easy, but I'm running out of time for decoration. So I'm going to keep kneading as fast as I can. I still have to make hair too, huh? I should walk fast. <laughs> this is my workout for the day. It's just getting dirtier, dirtier. Can I just make a black shirt? <laughs> I wanted to make brown, but you see it's just like weird marble. <laughs> but I have to move on, so I'm gonna just pretend this is her shirt. I still have to make like black for her hair, eyebrow, and eye. I'm getting hot. I didn't like eating fondant cake, and now I hate making fondant cake. So now I have pink color, black, and white and I'm going to start with her shirt. You want to roll as thin as possible and I'm going to make a slit. Yes! Oh, it's actually worked. It's a little bit sliding, but well, it's not perfect, but I shall move on. I'm not sure if I can make it in a time. Nikki might be a like bold lady. I just have to make sure face is covered in this way. <laughs> Stick coming out. I think I can cover with hair. I'm going to make face first and use leftover for all the hair. Bakers, you have 10 minutes remaining. Oh my god. I get panicked all the time. I just don't show. <laughs> Should I do hair first? Maybe so. This is all I have left. Okay. Making an executive decision because I don't have time. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> you look like a nun. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as a glue. My hands are shaking. It's a big bald spot. <laughs> How can I make it look like you now? Wait, I think if I put ear... Okay, so let me make ear really quick. <laughs> I feel like I'm making things worse. I'm gonna just like make a wave. I think I should have done that, but there is no going back. I think a haircut. 10 seconds remaining! <laughs> Bakers, your time is up! Stop, stop, stop! Time's up! <laughs> I feel like my career is over. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki! <laughs> I didn't see the back part! <laughs> How do you feel like you did? <laughs> no break! <laughs> Like I usually take a photo with my, you know, cakes and like do Instagram post. <laughs> I don't proud of what I made at all. They is a head and it's cake and you did it in four hours. <laughs> I'm a chef. I'm not the artist. Rie is like one of the best bakers that I know. And the fact that this was like hard for her probably means this challenge was like very difficult. It's like also like head sized, right? Oh, man, now I feel like we should make everyone do this. <laughs> Time go so fast when you are making so many different components. Also, like I was making by myself, but actual competition is more pressured. Positive side, it doesn't look like Nikki, but the taste would be great. I had a great time. I learned a lot. So maybe next time I can make better.